of course, glucocorticoids have been used really for decades and decades for lupus. But to me, the glucocorticoid is of benefit because it decreases inflammation right now. And we don't have many other drugs that do that. Um, and so the way I approach glucocorticoids is that I want to get the inflammation under control as quickly as possible and then get rid of the glucocorticoid as quickly as possible. Because the idea is if you can control inflammation quickly and then allow the other immunosuppressive drugs that are not um, glucocorticoids to control the autoimmunity, you should not have a resurgence of the inflammation. So my current strategy is uh, to use um, about a gram to a gram and a half of methylprednisolone distributed over uh, two or three days to hit the inflammation pretty quickly and pretty hard. And we know that that dose of glucocorticoid will keep inflammation suppressed for several weeks, if not longer. And then you can really start in with a much lower dose of oral glucocorticoid. One might even consider not using glucocorticoid. I, I don't think we're ready to jump off that bridge yet, but soon I think we might be. And then, and then um, we have the other drugs control the autoimmunity. And in my practice, the very first drug I take away is the glucocorticoid. I leave the patients on immunosuppression for a prolonged period of time, but I'm really trying to get the steroid tapered off within the first two to three months. And I will say pretty successfully uh, so far. And so that's the strategy I use.